Yeah, but anyway, so the New Year started out with a phishing scam right off the bat. So, so they got got. Two people got got in a meeting. Oh, course. just two? Just two. Oh. I, it happens all the time, man. I, I mean, I get, like, emails from the dean or from the president of the university or some dude on the board of governors or something like that and says, hey, I'm trying to get in touch with you. Can I get your... You know, because they, they can get on the faculty directory and just skim everybody's email off that. Okay. Oh, and right. so then they just try and do a phishing scam saying that, hey, you know, I'm some important, you know, guy whose pants don't go on one leg at a time and I need your email or I need your phone number right now. And some people fall for it, man. And so. Um, yeah, but I know you're like me. <laughs> It's kind of like, I, I know they have a way to look that up at your university. I Yeah, well, I, I adopted it. your email policy 10 years ago. If yeah. it's important, they'll send it to Gippen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Or they'll send it to me personally. It's not yeah, something, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> I mean, like my voice. Of your telephone numbers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I know, it was, it, it was bad English too, man. You could tell it was from, you know, somewhere it was non-English speaking, you know, country. They poop in the water? They might poop in the water. I don't know, man. Mm. You can't tell anymore. I mean, sometimes <laughs> if they come from, you know, places where they poop in the river, it sounds just the same as the ones where they lob shells at their neighbors. I don't know. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I got you, man. Um, like I said, I haven't fallen for one of those things in a while. I, a while. I've gotten... Uh, I know... The last time I got got, and it was it was it was a very uh, it was a very magnanimous. Well, I don't want to say that, but uh, relatively harmless uh, getting got because it was just it was just a uh, it was just a duped website. So uh, yeah, I've seen that. So I got yeah because I I clicked on it. I'm like, why is it taking my thing? I got got on that with the banking website yep. once. Was it the same way? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It was a so, new website, and I was looking at it, and it was like, okay, it looks almost exactly the same, but it doesn't have the uh, the S marker, HTTPS. Oh. Yeah. 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 So, anyway. Yeah, but more so, it was like, well, I pushed the button, but it didn't go. And, uh, oh. you know, it's because it, it went to another, like... Um, it's just basically, you know, it's your login and your password. Right. Right. Yeah. And so afterwards, I'm like, well, okay, I guess they have that. But, uh, you know, <laughs> fortunately, changing your password's not all that tough. I was like, all right. Well, right? No, yeah. it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I did that immediately afterwards, and uh, that's the last time I got got. I got got on that one once, but it was before I actually put in my login information. So. Oh. <laughs> what it did, so they have that thing where it loads a little picture. Yep. Yeah, and yep. my picture wasn't right. And I was like, huh? So that never happened before. And so just backing out, I looked at it again. I was like, oh, this is this is a this is this this is an ambush site. Yep. So <clears throat> you know, this is anglerfish here. <laughs> you know? Well you didn't get got them because I didn't you, didn't, get got. you didn't you didn't put in anything. No, I, I've gotten got like once or twice on certain things. Uh one of them was by my fucking HOA. So assholes. I think so. it's well, they so our HOA had changed a couple of times. This is just about oh, two that's years right, ago because they they shift hands to yeah yeah, yeah. and so some joint out of town yeah and so so I got got through that but it, it, I mean they they so I'm I'm one of those assholes and like send me a paper bill so but they wanted my credit card information I was like no I don't pay for my HOA dues with my credit card I pay for them with a check <laughs> you know so you know why you don't pay for them with a credit card <laughs> because assholes <laughs> well that's one okay but uh, the the second thing is if they have your card on file all right and there's some violation oh yeah then yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> then then they can immediately withdraw from there right 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 yeah instead of having to face you in the eye and say well, we put a lien on your house yeah exactly um i've been threatened by them twice by that and i was like talk to my lawyer <laughs> so yeah <laughs> <laughs> and one of them it was after the guy i had told the guy this was when my sewer pipe blew up oh so right, i had right. all that fucking construction equipment out there <laughs> and I had that hole in my front yard. This is during Halloween this year. Yeah, yeah. And they, uh, yeah. So I emailed them, and I emailed the guy, because there's an actual guy. Um, his name is Ed. So, um, And so I email Ed, and I'm like, hey, this is what's going on. I have to take care of this. It's on my property. 
Okay, so I'll let you know if we have to break the curve. We did not have to break the curve. So I emailed him that shit, and motherfucker, if not two days later, that dude drives through my neighborhood and writes me up for, like, not actually submitting, you know, landscaping changes. Oh, fuck him. Well, I know, and that's where I realized that this guy just, like, probably does this once every six months for each one of these organizations that he does this for, or something like that, because as soon as I was like... Dickhead. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you? Well, I know I took the actual you email. Copied I, the email as he, I copied email. the response that I got from him yeah. and forwarded it back to him. So, and he was like, "Oh, sorry, my bad." And I was like, uh, "Yeah, okay, no worries. Just don't come after me like that, talking about liens against my houses when you done done, done fucked up, you know, yeah. kind of thing." Because that's <laughs> when, yeah, the the lawyer heckles go up. So, yeah. Yeah, because as soon as my wife saw that, she was like, the fuck you say? <laughs> <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. We got to talk. Gotta talk right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> Stop eating that. Stop eating that. Yeah. <laughs> this gonna be a cold. Spit it out. Spit it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that yeah. tone. I, I know. <laughs> Sometimes when you when you hear that, come here. Yeah, come here. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Okay, so, um, and then so I've got a check right now that I think might be fraudulent. It actually came from the people who are doing my PT, and they said that oh. they overcharged me. But they send me this flimsy ass check that doesn't look legit. So, um. I'm reluctant to put it in my bank account. I've been trying to call them to figure it out, but they're they're fucking like every time I call them, it's like you're number forty seven in line. Would you like us to call you back? And then I say yes, and they call me back at like seven thirty in the morning. So you know when they go through the backlog. Yeah. So and they say, and then I call them back. Oh, you're number thirty six. <laughs> so, so I think I might just drive up there. <laughs> Say, hey, is this way actually what one of your guys' checks looks like? And so, you know, and, and here's the the question: like at 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 any point in the day, like when when you're number thirty six in line, mm -hmm. right? Um, I always do the thing like if it's something where uh you know I can just leave it on speaker and then yeah, uh, just you know I work on what I'm I'm doing. Are you just not in that position? Or I can do that, but on that one, the music is so tinny. That it makes my phone vibrate. So, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking up the speaker. It's fucking up my yeah. phone speaker. Mm -hmm. speaker. Yeah, it's PC yeah. speaker. <laughs> <laughs> well, the worst thing... I, I mean, so what I do is... Uh, this is the thing that I actually... You know, since mine actually... My computer didn't have a Bluetooth uh, mm. connector in there. I bought the card and put that in. Yeah. Um, super easy. I should do that. You should. It's really, it's not that complicated. It's one of those those things where if you just read the instruction, it'll take you right through it. Yeah. Um, takes 20 minutes, like 100 bucks, actually less than that. Um, because I use, I funnel all my phone calls through the phone. Or the, through, through the, the computer. computer. Yeah, see, I don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. See, that would, make, that would make my TV life a lot better, so to tell you the truth. Because my, my, what is it? My fire stick is starting to piss me off. So, oh, I don't know, man, but Amazon's been nerfing me since I didn't sign up for Super Prime. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, like, there's a bunch of shit that used to be free that's not free anymore. I was halfway through this series, Vikings. Uh, oh, Vikings. Yeah, that's, that's, a, I love like it. 10 years old. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, yeah. it goes up to, like, 2018. So oh, yeah, but yeah, it, it yeah, ran for like yeah. six, seven seasons. Yeah. So yeah. and that got nerfed. So um and now like it says it's free, but it ain't free. Okay, because it's chock full of ads and it takes forever to load the ads in there. So and it's just like, okay, this isn't even this isn't even watchable, you know, at this point, the way this is working out. And so I'm mean, either gonna have to go sign up for Super Prime or you know, maybe yeah, because my TV definitely has Bluetooth in it, so you just broadcast from my computer now. I don't know. So. Well, the other thing, Patrick, is, I mean, if, if like you said, if, if Super Prime is something that's going to charge, right, mm -hmm. something that was free before, right, Yeah. then it may be worth it to look and say, like, all right, well, okay, you can do that. You do your thing. 
Tell you what, why don't I investigate one of the other services for a couple of months? Yeah, it might be right? time. Just to, to clear you guys out and see. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Um, I don't know, man. I found this like huge library of free movies on YouTube that are great. So yeah, there's these, a ton. Yeah, no, I actually sat down. I was like scrolling through them last night. I was like, fucking L.A. Confidence. Oh, my God, I haven't seen this in 20 it's years. It's surprising how much quality. Con it's yeah, like the and I, I had to watch it. So I was just like, I, I've forgotten huge chunks of this movie. I forgot how good Russell Crowe is in it. So, but I forget how good everybody's in that. But yeah, I mean, even yeah, Ed yeah. Pierce or, or Guy Pierce is great in that movie. Yeah. And so, yeah. Well, these, he's insufferable in some other movies. No, I'm not going to fight you on that. No, but if they got Master and Commander on there, man, I got that spooled up for later tonight. That. Did you? Yeah. Oh man, I, I haven't seen it like ten ago, years. Yeah. I was like, fuck, yeah. I gotta watch this. That was too. specifically the reason that oh, okay. I watched it. Yeah. yeah. Um, now the 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 thing about the YouTube there is. Like, if you go in there and say, like, oh, well, this just got out of theaters, you're not going to see anything on there. But no. you're going to be surprised at some of the hits that are on there. You're like, oh, but this this movie mm -hmm. is actually good. I've seen it. Yeah. Right? No, there were a couple on there that I was like, wow, that's on here. It was like the new True Grit was on there. So. I watched that on Prime a while ago. But, yeah, it's yeah. just. Uh, I, I, I like that movie. So, but I, I was, do, too. I was kind of like, all right. What else is on here, man? So the question on that one is: is do you think it it offers any it, drastically much of a a different viewing experience than the original? The, only in the language. So yeah. this one, they really gust they Victorianed up the language quite a bit. Yeah. So which you know John Wayne couldn't pronounce those words. Fine. So yeah, yeah. you know. Um, I don't know. I think John Wayne's probably better than Jeff Bridges, but Jeff Bridges they're different. They're very different. They're, yeah, they're different. Yeah. Jeff Jeff Ridge is much more debauched. So, yes. you know, and John Wayne's much more of an asshole. So yeah. I would agree. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Because if you imagine a person actually saying that shit in his voice, you'd be like, yeah. what a dick. What a dick, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whereas, yeah. So Jeff, do you need a nap? <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. and yeah, Jeff Bridge is like when you're watching this movie the whole time, you're like, <laughs> fucking what? What? <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, that being said, I did not like Matt Damon in that one though. He he was not a good character. So he was passable. I I mean, it's it, yeah. It's, so in the original one, that guy dies though, and then they couldn't kill. They didn't have the guts to kill off Matt Damon. They should have done it. That would have probably made him a little bit more likable. So, um, um. Well, and the other thing is, the girl was the great. Kid's though. Amazing. The kid is amazing in that one. She is, she is. She's fantastic. Yeah, she's a real star. She makes the movie, to, she to, does. Be, to yeah. be honest with you. Well, her and Jeff Bridges does a pretty good job in that movie, too. So, Well, I mean, he's just, they're, he's they're as really hard to understand. Yeah, yeah. He does, man. That's, that's the, this is the big Lebowski plus 30 years. <laughs> and about 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles, and the direction is like, no, man, grizzled. Yeah. No, more grizzled. More grizzled. grizzled. Yeah, grizzled, grizzled. up. Yeah. Grizzled all like, the way up. world weary. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Did we not explain? Did, yeah. the, did the script say <laughs> jaded? Jaded. Yeah. 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 No, it's it's actually, it's it's a, a, a fine movie. It's not something I need to go back for. It's not no. that I'd say, like... Oh, I didn't uh, watch it. I was just like, oh, that's cool that it's on here. Oh. So, But it's uh, not like I'd be saying... Yeah, you guys! Oh you my God! Got to stop what you're doing! Put that down! <laughs> come here! Come here! Come, come here and come watch here. this! Yeah. No. Uh, what else? There was something else on there that I saw that I was like, "Oh, I gotta watch that too." I was on Prime. I watched Conan the Barbarian. Oh, um, I saw that not too long ago. Yeah. It was on. It was a TBS special, man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't watch it on TBS, but you know what? I gotta be honest. It's it's a little bit harder to watch than it used to be. There's a couple of movies like that, a little rough. So, a little rough around the edges. Yeah. It's, uh, so... To hell with you. So, <laughs> I, I'm never going to fight. That's actually amazing. But, but uh, what I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to give I'm give Conan some, some big-time credit, because I still like watching it, right? Mm. The only thing here is... Uh, so there's this time in human history, in film history, uh -huh. right? It's kind of... It's post-70s, but pre-about... Mm, I would say about like 2002, right? Okay. There's this this time period in here where after the 70s they're a little bit indulgent, right? It's it's 
there's this thing in the in the 80s in that time period when they say no two hours is your cap oh right? yeah if you have more story to tell that's your problem that's fixed, a sequel yeah right um and so there are some parts there in conan that you look at it and you're like <laughs> um there, there something's missing right so, yeah that, something got cut you you yeah. wrote more here right you'll see yeah. spots where dialogue cuts abruptly you would not do that now yeah. um and, and of course you know there's there's they've come a long way in being able to sell people getting hit by weapons and things like that so it's like no it's fine it's fine it's fine but there are things that i do like i, I noticed in this 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 time around where it's like actually this is kind of cool that um it's just something that you see in that era of movies where you're like, all right, so if you look at the people they cast, right, if you look at Valeria, it's like, I don't know who that is, but I'm like, you know what, there's something that works about this where they wouldn't pick an actress like that there. It's like, it's, it's, you're, you're specifically kind of athletic. You got, like, you got a little fucked up nose. You got a little bit oh, of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's not bad, but it's just like. No, it's just different. You would not pick that same person no. for that role but she makes it work because mm -hmm. like this is a barbarian age and it, it's it's yeah, like yeah yeah um they're not as picky about the plastic surgery and stuff back then yeah. no yeah no, no, no you don't no. have to have the perfect romanesque nose and stuff well, you know or whatever it is that you're going for being that it would be you know reminiscent of the time period because i mean you, you look at you know arnold it's like okay yeah so it's your physique but you look at somebody's like Man, you gotta like go to the, have them push those teeth together. You know, just <laughs> certain, you gotta fill in that gap, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like certain things that you're like, okay, this is this is ugly, but it's ugly. It's just look at like '70s actors. They all oh have, my gosh, yeah. They all have something weird with them. They're, yeah. they're not as. I was watching clips from the Amityville Horror the other day. So, the original, yeah, the original. It is as '70s as they get, man. It's but it's that unnerving 70s it, well that's why i was watching pieces of it um we didn't get to the the red glow owl eyes oh you know, so was, yeah but was, um it was in the basement where he's chipping the rocks or that yes, breaks out of the yeah. basement yeah and i was like man this guy is as 70s as they get <laughs> as it, it, yeah. there's something about the film grain the stock it's like uh -huh. All of you look greasy. It's, well, they it's, all look greasy, and every night looks foggy. So, yes. yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And, I mean, it's not as bad as, like, the old spaghetti westerns where they would film, like, nighttime scenes during the day and then just turn the tent way down. Yeah, you, you, don't, know. you don't do day for night. No, that's, you don't do that anymore. So. That is a fucking film no-no. Oh, yeah. Um, that's as amateur as it gets. But, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, there's something about that where, and again, it's the same thing. You you cast Margot Kidder in that role. Right. And you look at her, it's like, okay, you're pretty, but there's still something like, you're not quite, I, I wouldn't. Well, it's more genuine in some yeah, respects. Yeah, absolutely. Man. I mean, is. everybody nowadays, you see everybody on the red carpet, they all look the fucking same. Like, the That's, thing that I can't get it over anymore is the fucking blowfish lips you see on everybody now. That so, is fucking creepy. It, is, it, it yeah. doesn't look right. and it's, you got to be smiling in order for it to actually look nice. So, so if they catch you on some moment where you're just, you know, like, I don't know, farting or something like that, it looks awful. Or just you sitting know, there. Or, just sitting there, know. yeah, or getting in your car, <clears> or, you know, answering your cell phone, whatever. It just looks yeah. weird, man. It does. So it, it absolutely looks totally does. Weird. Um yeah, it's it's bizarre, and you can I mean certain things you can see like um, it, it, like they'll 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 take a celebrity and like some people like gush about it. it's like oh it looks a bit she's natural it's like no man when she started acting her nose was out another four fucking mm -hmm. feet right yeah well and it's a funny thing is you see some of the actresses who've been around for you know maybe 10, 15, 20 years now trying to keep up. And they don't look anything like they used to. No. You see those before. Like, uh, who's, the one, who's the chicken Transformers? Oh, Megan Fox. They, oh, she is the best yeah. example of that, man. I mean, now it's like, oh, my God, you're not even the same fucking person. No. So, no. yeah. So, I mean, they used to make fun of, like, fucking Joan Rivers for that. Like, that was... Yeah, she she used was to a comedian. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I know. That's what I'm saying. Right? <laughs> It's a damn good one too. <laughs> but she was. She she, she was was. Yeah. Um like they used to they used to give Cher a hard time about that. Oh yeah. But now she's not unique. No, she's not. Not even remotely. No. So no. Yeah. Um they they 
the the long running joke, and they're not wrong. It's not that she looks bad or anything like that, but um, Nicole Kidman is still in a lot of things, but her face doesn't move when she talks. Yeah, I watched her last night. You know, in that fucking movie. Uh, oh no, that's Kim Basinger. Yeah. Sorry, that, yeah. my bad. My bad. Yeah. Nicole Kidman. Yeah, I haven't seen her in a little while, but you're right. She was in the Northman. Uh, Norseman. You're right. Okay. Yes, she and was. I didn't go I didn't watch recognize that. her. Yeah. first. that's right. She was the guy's wife who married his brother. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, see, I was kind of getting into Vikings a little bit, and then Amazons. Just, yeah, just pull the rug yeah, out from yeah, 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 exactly. And you're coming <laughs> for, more, for more product. <laughs> That's so cynical. But it's true. <laughs> it really is, yeah. man. There, there was uh, uh, on one of the, the things I follow, um, somebody posted that, that it, it looks like a bingo card right uh-huh. and it has all of these these titles right these movie titles uh-huh. right? for for next year oh okay. and so it was essentially like it's, it's hypothetical right well it's not hypothetical oh. but these are all basically things that are scheduled to come out next year oh okay and so they're saying you know pick one from each row and say what are you most excited oh, to okay. see next year yeah. right and show me that list and it's all like you said it is all product it's there was product. no part of me that said I want to see the Dune. Movie. I want to see the the Dune movie. Yeah. It, it's just that, okay. So as we've learned in the past, like with the the series and the movies, like uh-huh. even with things that I like, the interpretations that I like, it would be difficult to adapt all of that into one film, regardless of what are you talking about? Dune. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So in this case, I feel that the actual continuation is necessary. It is right. I feel like that's a solid, you know, uh, approach to take. The things on that list was just, there wasn't a, an IP on there that looked, you know, so they have this new, it's it's the, the next, like, Kong versus Godzilla, eh. and some other, like, Marvel product, and some other fucking... Marvel product. That's all it is. It, it comes out of a tube. It's... it's <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Roll tube from bottom for best results. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. You know, it's, it's, it's like... <clears throat> and my brother seems to have lost the hype for it a little bit and that's when you lose him that's pretty yeah, that, you've lost the yeah that, 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 that's he's kind of my kill switch that you know it's like yeah. okay yeah like weekend busy dad america is no longer into marvel so you know? it just happens. Yeah, it just it, happens. it's pokemon cards man it's it just pokemon happens cards. one day yep. that that Everybody wanted it, and yep. you make enough bad decisions in a row, and you think you're untouchable. Yeah, right. Um, it's the it's the the what's the announcement today? It was the it was the Star Wars thing? It was the uh, um, they have some Palestinian activist that's going to be directing a new movie um, for what Star Wars? Yeah, Star Wars, and it's going to be one movie, and it's going to star the actress that nobody wanted or liked from the last three movies. Right. Ray. Yes. It's going to be Daisy Ridley. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, 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 this is, a, and, and she specifically saying like my, my, my whole goal here is to make men feel uncomfortable. I'm like, no problem. I'll stay at home. Yeah, I don't no, want yeah, you to make worries. me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm not, I'm it's not the last thing that. I want for my Star yeah. Wars movie, babe. It's, it's like, I'm not trying to pick on you. Just like, you know, you, you, you look at your profits. This is, this was a, a blow that, that came out was, Universal made more money than Disney last right? year. Yeah. yeah, which hasn't happened in like more money on their movies. They had a way better box office. Yeah, okay, yeah, got yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Um, and look, I, I wouldn't know about their parks. I, I know that Disney was. I don't know either. They had more to lose, you know, post pandemic and stuff like that. So I don't know, but I don't know how those um, two companies actually stack up. I mean, are they actual rivals? I don't know. So, hard to say. Yeah, I, I, I feel know. like I feel like you you'd work. I don't know too many people that are just uh, like pro universal. There's there's no like Apple Android going on here. It's just no, it's not like that. You know, yeah, oh, you, you go to Universal Studios if you went to Disney World before, so or vice versa. Absolutely, yeah. it's like what did we do last time? Yeah, exactly. Let's go to the other yeah, one. Let's go to the other one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't really see those things in the same way, but um, yeah, there's just this this failure to learn that uh, well people. They said no mayonnaise on the sandwich. <laughs> Disney said you need the mayonnaise. You need more mayonnaise. <laughs> 
And then they're sitting there looking over their one star Yelp reviews and saying, "Well, yeah. you guys are racist." Well, whatever I mean, happened? To, did, what happened to the, the Snow White movie? Did it get pulled? It got thrown back another year. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because yeah. they're, they're going to yank out all of the uh, the seven diversity hires. They had this. <laughs> yeah. What they, did he call those? The seven multicultural. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're actually swapping those into CGI dwarves because oh, the reception okay. was so negative Ugh. um so i don't if it were me right if, if it were me what i would do is i would just kind of kick it down the kick that can down the hill one more year and then shelve it yeah just throw it in a production i level. would yeah um yeah i thought it either got shit canned or something happened to it or something like that i don't know man so so saw that they made an alternative one that's actually just, like, actual Snow White and Dwarves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're working on it. It's not out. But... That's not out? No. Okay. I thought it was a TV thing. No. Uh, actual theatrical release. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, I don't care. It's not... I don't care either. Um, yeah. Not to pick on it. It's just, like, you know, even the original story, it's like, I don't really care about this. This is, this is the... Mm. the... I'm sorry, Patrick. I hate to use these terms, but it's a girl movie, and I'm not, I'm not picking it because you know me. I love animation, so I mean, sure. this is something that that from from that level I have to appreciate. But as far as the actual storyline, there's nothing in it that calls to me. It's not. No, there's no. Saw when I was a kid. There's <laughs> not. There's not. There's, there's no, no lasers. <laughs> um, there's no ship to ship combat. There's, there's no ship to ship combat. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know, there's no part of Snow White that's... There's no gun cam footage. There's no, there's no <laughs> duty and honor. There's no... There's no yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no yeah. sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, you see the movies I like. Yeah, exactly. Not... <laughs> there's no death of democracy. <laughs> <laughs> there's no get off my plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, fine. You know what? Okay, that was the other thing that we were talking about uh, uh, rabbit holes that sucked us into their gravity. Mm. And, um, like, I was watching, like, this, this, I don't know who it was, but there was this guy that had all of these, these deleted scenes from, like, Star Wars episodes, like, one, two, and three, and oh, then neat. the other ones, too, that yeah. would have been, like, drastic story changers, things yeah. that they filmed. And I was getting into that. I've seen some of those, particularly for Attack of the Clones, um, where the, apparently a lot of that movie wound up on the floor. So that's, that's, that's what I saw. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like the whole Dooku thing was supposed to be much better flushed out and stuff. And I saw a guy do a pretty good rewrite <clears> on some of those too. That was actually like really impressive. It was like that would have been a much better movie. And so oh yeah, oh, where yeah. he actually becomes yeah. much more sympathetic, you know, yeah. uh, and not actually working with Palpatine, but working against him. So he's like his first legit enemy. So, yeah, because he knows who he is. So yeah, well, he knows who he, is. he doesn't tell. No, no, no. So yeah, I don't remember. This was a couple of years ago, and it was all done through animation. But it was pretty. Oh, good. that's cool. Well, someone had taken a whole bunch of the Clone War stuff and chopped it up and kind of like oh, did something again okay. that made all sense. Right. So it was pretty cool. So yeah, but I don't know, man. Star Wars is a ship that sailed over my horizon, man. I'm. I'm it, it's gonna have to come back to to North America. <laughs> so my home was here, brother. Not not to North America. We're we're talking about like it has to go inland. It has to get to this state, right? Yeah, and, exactly. Because right now the problem is like my Star Wars uh, boner here. Like I wouldn't cross the street to see. Anyone. I no, I wouldn't either. Yeah, I I I, I yeah, I wouldn't spend your money to go see. Anyone. <laughs> you for it? Yeah, I, 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 know, I know. Yeah, that's kind of where so, yeah. there's there's just this like. Once you, it's it's like uh, uh, it's like when your mom says she's disappointed in you. Like once you, right? Once you break her heart, it's so hard to get into those good graces again. Yeah, you, know? you have to mow a lot of lawns, and it's, not mine. Yeah. I get, I need to see you being doing that for the church down the street. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, so you know. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's like your mom caught you like shoplifting or something. Yeah. You know, it's... I can't trust you anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's and you know, I, I got my heart broken by them, I got my heart broken by Marvel, I got um 
you know, those are those are the Star Wars is my big one. So, um, well, and then the, the exactly thirty minutes that I gave Amazon to redeem itself with Lord of the Rings. So, oh boy, yeah, okay. So that took I, thirty I minutes. That one, yeah, that, that yeah. took thirty minutes. I'm like, nope, <laughs> I'm done. So, I mean, Peter Jackson even started that with his bullshit Hobbit movies. So. Yeah, but he wasn't supposed to do that. That I was, know, but he did. <laughs> you know, like, I didn't mean to run over your dog, but I did. <laughs> so I was like, "Thanks, man. You know, thanks for at least letting me know." You know, that was. So it would have been much worse if I was whistling around the neighborhood looking for Daisy. You know, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, that was another thing that I saw scheduled for, I guess, this year. Is there's a movie about the Roho Um Fuck that. I'm out. I never even heard about yeah. them doing something like that. They this. don't. They don't even show up to the last fucking book. So, or the, I guess the, 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 the Rings books. So, we'll see what kind of fucked up mythology they try and invent that involves people who are not Vikings. So, I don't know. Not Vikings. Um, right. Horse Vikings. Horse so. Vikings probably count on some loudmouth ass woman to be in charge of it or you never know, man. I'm not even gonna bother. So that the media like that just isn't for me anymore, man. So I can't do it. I don't have the I don't have the patience for it. So um <laughs> Yeah, I just don't. <laughs> I have the time. I'm not going to waste it on you. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much it. Man. I got other shit to do, man. I got things that make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and what's funny is it's... Um, this is the point where I actually feel like I, I break... I break ranks with where my father was at this point. Uh -huh. Whereas... At this point in my father's life, I feel that he was circling some of the wagons about the things that he enjoyed and was just kind of like corralling them. Like, not gatekeeping, but saying like, these are the things that I enjoy. Right. right? You got to kind of figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. I venture outside of these things, I'm going to see them. Like, I wasn't there. I wasn't. So there's this thing they, they, they joke about like, oh, they're just doing like classic series and stuff like that. It's like, look. I wasn't one of those people that grew up. I wasn't watching like fucking Mikhail's Navy. I wasn't watching. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> like Lost in Space or any of these things oh, like yeah. that. So if if I were you know an older person, if I were this age in like uh, ninety five or whenever that came out, and I saw the new movie, I'd be like, the fuck. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. So I understand you know kind of where that's coming from. The difference is that. <clears throat> I'm not just circling the wagons around things that I like and re-watching or re-reading. It's like, there's so much stuff out there that I'll never get to all the things that I want to try. Yeah, yeah. Let alone, you know, just, just closing it and say, like, eh, well, I'm going to watch a Fistful of Dollars tonight. And uh, that's... I got to be blunt, man. I'm looking through that list of free YouTube movies. There's a lot of movies on there. I was like, I should watch that. So, but I haven't seen that one. You know what? That's good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Recommended, never, never seen. Yeah. yeah, it was like, I really should watch that. And some of these are old ass movies too, man. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? You're right. I have never seen Rio Bravo. I should probably watch I that haven't either. at least once. Yeah, you know? So there are a couple of them on there. There's like, yeah, I've seen that. I don't need to watch Shenandoah again. So, um, my dad <laughs> loved that movie when I was growing up. So I was like, I don't need to see that again. And then there's other ones. It's like, yeah, I've seen The Good, Bad, and The Ugly more than enough times. I don't need to see that again. It's fine. It's fine. Absolutely. So, fine. And then, yeah, there's like, oh, the whole Twilight series is its own series is on here. It's like, I think I've seen most of these, but I don't know. I don't remember. So it was the same thing. I was watching Alfred Hitchcock Presents the other night. I was like, I forgot how good these are. Alfred Hitchcock Presents? Yeah. Was that the, like, it was from a TV the TV show? Or? No, it's the 50s, man. It's old. So, oh, the original. Yeah. Oh, the TV oh, okay. show. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, like yeah, twenty-two yeah. minutes long. They're blissfully delight, delightfully. They're like snacks. So yeah, they're great. They're made for that that Ed Sullivan TV hour kind of thing, you know, where you fit that in between whatever the show is and the news. <laughs> you know? Did okay? Did Alfred Hitchcock? Okay. Did um. Did that come out before the Twilight Zone or no? I think they're contemporaries. Are they? So, or they're pretty close. I'm sure one probably inspired the other. So, I don't know All what right. the order is though. So, 
Because I can tell you, if I were alive during that time period, I would have gone nuts for that shit. It's, that, that it's would have been still pretty fucking good, man. It's still, like, it's not, you know, green garbage, Oscar the Grouch on the wind kind of thing. You know, but... You have no idea how cool I would have thought that was. <laughs> yeah, you know, that would have been awesome. The concept uh... of that is fucking genius. Yeah. Um, but Alfred, I mean, I don't, he's got some pretty good ones on there. They're just, like... There, nothing there's nothing violent about any of them so you know there's nothing like jump scary it's just kind of like everything's really off-putting it's kind of like that would suck <laughs> yeah so that's it the, the whole the whole sense is it's creating sort of a, a sense of like unease or... yeah okay i saw this one the other night it's, it's i think there's an equivalent one that the twilight zone did but alfred hitchcock did this one where this guy is a banker and um, he keeps showing up to work, and all his work is done. So I don't know if I saw this one. Oh, it's great! I, I kind of like where this yeah, is going. He shows up. He's like, "This is fucking sweet," <laughs> and stuff like that. But then he gets lazy after a little bit, and he's kind of like, "Yeah, you know, this is a really good deal. I should get on top of this and stuff like this." And he's just thinking this, okay? But he shows up the next day, and the deal is fucking done. And he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> So he starts talking to his secretary, and he tries changing his signature at the bank and stuff to see, and it's the same the next day, and he's like, what the fuck? And it turns out it's a doppelganger at the very end that he just happens to bump into, you know, while they're going between each other's mailboxes. Do this so, one about and, that, that, like, that and they, they haul the, the actual banker away screaming to the madhouse, and the other guy's just straightening his tie. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, they don't explain great, why. No. Right. Yeah, they don't, they don't explain yeah. shit. <laughs> Like, even his secretary's like, what's wrong with you? You know? He's like, you were fine this morning. He's like, I wasn't here! You know? <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> that wasn't me. You don't understand. You know? Dude, I, I remember what... No, I, I, I wish I'd seen that one. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, I, I would have been so into this. It would have blown my mind. Like, um, you know, I, I know I, there, there's one. I remember that, like, the whole thing, the, the whole point, this this was definitely a Twilight Zone, was, mm -hmm. was like, the whole point. Like, you're looking at the guy's like, why doesn't my sink work? Why does everything look okay, but my utilities don't work, right? Oh, I think I've seen that And one. it's, it's yeah. like 20 minutes of him like, why doesn't all the shit work in my house? And then when he goes outside, it's because he's in an enclosure. He And the aliens right. are yeah. looking at him as a specimen, right. right? And I can't imagine like coming to you the next day. He's like, get fucking aliens here. They yeah. got him in a human zoo. <laughs> right, yeah. You got him in a zoo. <laughs> you know? so. I would have dug this shit out. Again, it's, it's like... It's the same thing where, again, I wish I'd been there in the crowd that saw The Shining the first time. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, movies that, that over <coughs> shows where, like, you can appreciate, but people have, it's it's the uh, same thing, like the, the, the Last Man on Earth um, mm -hmm. episode. Same thing. People have referenced it so many times right. that um, even you see it, all you can look at is, like, the technical part. It's like, well, the, 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 the real cutting edge part of this, or the real, you know, twisted storytelling on this, is lost on me, unfortunately. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. There's some other good stuff out there that I need to kind of mine down a little bit. I got some time left before I have to get back into the grind. So I've been trying to watch a little bit more TV and a little bit less YouTube lately, just because. Well, I guess like movies and stuff rather than just you know whatever bullshits on YouTube. No, no you, you're talking about. Uh constructed narratives rather than right yeah you know, rather than just the fire hose yeah of content that comes out in various forms that i see um from time to time which i don't know it's all palestine related now and i just can't do it anymore man so well i can't fucking do it so <clears throat> um i saw well, something yeah. today that made my piss boil so on that what what hit you well so there was these guys in la who are dragging a you know sky writing thing you know across did you see that one so it's something like your tax dollars are killing ten thousand palestinian kids something like that whatever and so i got curious about this like all right fine okay i, I you got me let me go find out how much of my tax dollars is actually going to israel it's nothing jeff we haven't paid them a thing so we sell them equipment. We don't even do that, okay? We sell them things and we give them a coupon. We give them BOGO coupons, basically, you know? And it's not even that much. It's $3.8 billion. Yeah, but that's, that's the thing. Is, is that money comes back to us. Yeah. Right. It goes back into the people who work in the Lockheed factory. Yeah. 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 Exactly. 
So, and then the rest of it gets written off as a discount. So, because you have to have zero sum accounting in a government. That's how it works. Right. So, yeah. Right. Um, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And so every argument that you hear out there is like, well, you're, you're paying for this. You're, you're not none of, none of your tax money has gone towards that. And even if any of it did, it's a fraction of a penny. It's less than what you would find in your change cup in your car right now. I guarantee it. I guess. So, uh, oh, look, yeah, I, it's nothing, man. I could argue if you, I thought it was like hundreds of billions of dollars that we had given them in aid. Uh, people act like it. It's not. It's nothing. It's zero. They, least, well, because they don't need aid. Yeah. It's not. It's no, not they're like fine. Um, they, yeah. they they need military supplies, right? Well, yeah, and so the stuff and that the we, guys that you want to go to, we do sell you things if you have good money and Jewish money is good money. So yeah. <laughs> So, and that's why they get the BOGO coupons, man. So, because we, we, this is long term, we want repeat business. Right. <laughs> right. So, yeah, it's just, it's, 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 yeah. and every narrative that I see, you know, from um, a particular group who um, are going to be very, very upset come next November. Uh, so upset. They're going to be so mad. So, yeah. And they're going to blame Us, a lot every, of people, but not, and, not themselves. Not themselves. They're not going to blame the people who are actually responsible no. for it. So, yeah. Not a single second of introspection will go into this. Yeah, so anyway, and the, the, I mean, so that, that, that brain worm has taken over two or three people that I, I used to really pay close attention to, and I just can't do it anymore. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. Eventually, you'll wander in from the cold, and I'll, I'll be able to listen to you again. But when everything out of your mouth has to go bend back towards this narrative, I know what you're doing here, man. And so, fucking stop it. So, or what? don't, and I won't listen to you. That's fine, too. And, that's what, and, so, and, and this is, okay, so this is the, the other, you know, component of this, right? Where, um, and this is something that, I, that I've discussed in the past, is, is if you fall down that particular rabbit hole that that particular branch of um ideology the problem is that you have to view each and every um fire as a five alarm yeah right? every single thing every single thing where it comes up to like well this person was mistreated by the police five alarm fire palestine right. is going on five alarm five fire, alarm fire right everything that goes on and, and the thing is the brain can't handle I, mine's fried. It can't. I can't do it, it anymore. Absolutely can't. Yeah, it's not meant to because the, the the viewing this kind of stuff creates an artificial proximity to things that mm -hmm. have nothing to do with you. Yeah, right. And I'm not saying that you can't look at this. Like if I were Petra, I did some genealogy research. This yeah. is an interesting thing. Yeah. Okay. Because it was all about the etymology of my name. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, part of your name is Jewish, and it's root, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's, there's 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 a good chance, right? Of course, it's going to go into Germany, right? Well, and the Steen got dropped at the, 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 the boat. The the well, the Steen or or the uh, the, the Shine or the Sh oh yeah yeah the, the 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 child, right? Yeah. Um, and and that's the thing is, so in my history, I'm going to have Jewish lineage. Sure. Right. Um, which of course I didn't. Th I was like. Ah, uh, I always thought there was a pretty good chance of that. Well, you know, I never even looked at it that way. Yeah, I okay. It was kind of like, there ain't no Jews in Korea. Um, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of Baptists, but... <laughs> that's <laughs> voluntary. Yeah. That's, a, that's some weird that you and I can talk about, man. It's it's uh, the the extreme devotion uh, to Christ. Um, well, yeah, with M16 contracts and stuff. Yeah, I'm familiar with some of those stories, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so i was thinking about it and and so if I, I i were devout in this or if this this meant something to me or if israel meant something to me like sure this might be my five alarmer it might right? be yeah um you know again I, i've had plenty of students like like uh venezuelans and sure uh, yeah. uh and russians ukrainians i'm like well this i could see this situation being a big deal to you the funny thing is they were like i don't live there right mm -hmm. yeah that's why i came here yeah. right yeah yeah it's like i don't like this but i didn't like them either yeah 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 right? exactly yeah so if they wanted to make it a big deal sure but you can't give a hundred percent to every issue which no. is just utterly retarded but every it, that's where the the guilt comes out so, oh you don't care about this i'm like no 
I don't. Yeah, I know. It's I okay. Can't. It, yeah, I can't. And it's okay to be agnostic about things. I got to pick so. like five. Yeah, you got to pick five. And I prefer to pick things that are a little bit closer to home. Thanks. So, yeah, you're smarter about that than me. I, I, well, I, I mean, to... I don't know, man. I mean, I'll just, there's, there's a no, little you bit. you are. Well, okay, but there's, there's, there's an element of that that I've just kind of learned that over the years, you know. So just with, um, I don't know, man. I don't know how politically active you were when you were a kid, but I got talked down that shit pretty early. Yeah, big time. So, yeah, and then after big a while, time. after enough disappointment, and then I've seen my own political flag change directions a few times in my life. Many now. times. I wouldn't say many, but definitely a few. So, you know, um, I've never gotten to the point in time where I dabbled too hard in, like, you know, uh, vocational libertarianism. Vocational? <laughs> yeah. <So, laughs> yeah. Or amateur communism. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, so, <laughs> never quite meant pro. There was like maybe one year when I was in my graduate program, my first graduate program. Where I had, there was a guy who was teaching economics class, and he was foaming at the mouth, you know, like die hard, black. And the world is black or white. These are mutually exclusive kind of guy. Yeah. But he was bona fide libertarian. And I like the, the the like the just the moral clarity of that. It's really nice. But that's not a real world. That's a false construct. It took me a while to realize that. So um, I had a streak of that going on for a while. Um, you and I used to. Uh, get into arguments about that sure um yeah. and then the, the the purpose of this was to i mean again there are certain things where even things that i see in a black and white sense i'm still going to look at mitigating factors and say like all right is there something else if i were to look at something yeah, yeah, yeah. and say um you and i have gone rounds on this i don't know this is something that we should discuss publicly, but I know that for me, like when it comes to like pedophilia, obviously oh, it's yeah. like, okay, this is a problem. Sure. Like, this is wrong, right? But that doesn't mean that necessarily I can't look at this and say, like, okay, it is wrong. The people that do this need to be punished so that anybody getting involved in this is as dissuaded as much as possible yeah. to not, you know, involve themselves in this. However, that doesn't mean that we need to necessarily not look at the situation itself and say like okay so why why is this happening is there a is there something in here that needs response to intervention that could prevent oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you learned that in school yeah <laughs> We can do some restorative justice here. You know. <laughs> now, Timmy, we understand that the principal touched you so in an inappropriate manner. Can you tell us why you think he did that? You know, <laughs> right? I, yeah. Obviously, I'm not taking it that route. But right, right, you know, right. some of this is like, okay, is there? Look, I will argue that we do have a problem right now. We still have a problem with sexualization of of people of a younger age in society. Yeah. That makes it like. There are things that I look at and say, like, all right, you can't possibly think that in this case it is 15-year-olds looking at other 15-year-olds with this. No, of course not. Yeah. Right? I, I mean, so yeah. Just terms of pragmatic, you know, like, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's where that's, my conservative claws really come out. So Yeah, and you, you, yeah no, and I'm like, pretty straightforward on this. It's like, yeah, you should ban it. So, And if you have a problem with it, you should be castrated. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got two. We're going to take one, and we're going to check back in a month and see if you're fixed, brother. And if you're not, you're losing the other one. So, yeah, um, I've, I've, seen your, I've seen your go, no-go zones uh, when it comes to, like, these people get the rope and, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, those, and those people are among the first in line yes. <laughs> and it's not a long list but you're like it's nope. not a long list but nope. those guys yeah there, we... <laughs> there are points in time where i think castration is perfectly acceptable solution to this problem so yeah chemical or mechanical i don't care yeah, so yeah ladies choice ladies you know choice. it's yeah, like ladies you know, go choice. Ahead. yeah um, do what you're gonna do, right? And, and again, <laughs> you can use a rubber band if you want, man. You know? <laughs> well, that's the classic. That's the that's the uh, that's the eunuch treatment, right? I don't know, man. I wasn't that the the process that they would do back. That's how they do it with cows. I don't know if they did it that way with people. I thought they did that that way with with eunuchs back in the day. They might have, they yeah, but they would tighten it just barely a little bit every oh, day, yeah. you yeah. know. So otherwise, you get this screaming pain. So yeah. 
I don't think it would feel good under the best circumstances. No, like no. That's why I don't think you're allowed to do that with cows too much anymore. Or there's a special way you have to do it. I don't know. I watched an episode of Doctor Pole on that once. So you didn't like what you saw, huh? No, man. Yeah. yeah so it was <laughs> kind of like, all right. Well, this is why I'm not a farmer. So, um, yeah, yeah. Animal cruelty yeah. is up there on my list too. Uh, you so know, people and... who people who step on kittens also go in the fire. So oh, get the rope. Um, you know what? We're just gonna march you right into the fire. It's okay. fine. Yeah. Right. So right. yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna fight you on that one. I mean, there are certain, there are certain things. I I know the shit that, uh, like, God damn it, man. There are certain stories that I know. Right. It is. Like, you can see that the ground in front of you is not even. And there's, like, a big piece of cheese on it. And you know that if you go for the Wait, cheese, what? you're going... Oh, like, right. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are certain stories this that is I... weird shadow. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awfully circular cloud. <laughs> <laughs> there are certain stories that I know. It's like, I know what you are. I know you're going to get me on this. And if they mm. list the headline, right? If they put the headline with a unforgivable crime mm. and that the perpetrator was given a very non-equivalent sentence it will always i'm like don't you, you're gonna get me with this you're yeah gonna get no, you're gonna get right. me you're gonna get my i click. can't read yeah, this. I can't. and then if i jump in i know i'm gonna get fucking hot i'm gonna get mad yeah right but i mean that's the thing is most of the time right Look, there are some judges out there that have their own agendas, right? I can't fight that. That's that's who they are. That's what they're doing. But it seems to me that most of the time there's something that is extenuating where it's like, well, they had to or yeah, this was given because of this. I may not necessarily agree with the reason, kind of like I was talking about, um, you know, if your mom were to explain to you, you know, something where it's like, Wow, you're making a like a, a rash decision. It's like, why are you yelling at me like this? But if she tells you, like, well, I mean, I used to get beat up by my brothers every you know weekend. Oh, right, right, right. You're like, okay, that doesn't make it right, but I understand, right? Yeah. Same thing. I can look at this and say, like, well, I don't agree with your decision necessarily, but I can see where you're coming from. That mm -hmm. makes a difference. Yeah, but then there's certain things that just make my make all my vision go red. So it's it's the berserk yeah. pack. Get up, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's like to rip and tear your guts, man. Right. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So there are a few things here and there. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, but yeah, but like politically, it just it doesn't work on me that much anymore. There's nothing that is like rip and tear kind of. You know, I mean, and, if, and, and when people try and goad me into that with bad facts and moralistic appeals to a higher authority that doesn't exist in this context, so um, I'm not buying what you're selling, man, and so stop it. And so, and but if you consist, insist that, like, every time I show up, I'm here to buy a pack of gum, you try and sell me lotto tickets, okay? I don't play lotto, all right? I just want the gum, all right? When I show up next time, would you like a lot? No, I don't want a lotto ticket. Show up the next time. He's like, Bob, God damn it, I don't want a fucking lotto ticket. All right? And then the next time it happens, it's like, all right, I'm going to go across the street now. So, you know, because <clears throat> Bob don't give a shit about his audience. He gives a shit about lotto tickets. So, got right. it. Right. Yeah. Right. So, I just can't do it no more. Oh. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of that this year. There's going to be a lot. This is going to be a fun year. Oh. Well, you know, and there... To be fair, okay, there's a lot of things that do need to be sorted out, right? So, um, yeah, the Colorado Supreme Court thing needs to be sorted out. That's sooner one, rather than later. So that's one of them. I saw that that uh, today, Denver is having to dip into the general fund quite a bit for what? Uh, housing migrants. Oh, Denver's getting hit now too. Yes, they are. You know what? I saw a little bit more of that when I was up in Denver last time, but it's been a it's been a minute. So, but yeah, they they had to pull a big chunk of change out of that, um, which impacts us because it's the Colorado uh, the, into the state general fund. This was my understanding. Oh, I didn't know they could do that. So I didn't either. Now that's how I read it. I could go into <laughs> yeah. um, look. Oh, and you asked me the other day about like holding uh, like our Secretary of State here is actually elected. 
So oh. some states do it okay. that way. Maine, it's appointed by the by the uh, not the governor, but by the legislature. So, but here, and I was no, thinking sure. about okay. that because I was like, wait a minute. I remember voting for Wayne Williams. So, because he's been our guy for years, and he was on the mayor's ticket last fall. Oh. So, and then mm-hmm. I looked it up. And I was like, oh yeah, we actually elect ours anyway. So, I, oh, so it's so, so, okay. You know what? That's actually good to know. Yeah. No, that's anyway. cool. Um. Where are we going? Yeah, it, it, no, yeah, it's the general fund. So, you know, I'll, I'll look into more of that. But to me, it looked like they were pulling it from the state, which, like, all right, well, that sucks. You guys should figure that, that out fast. Um, and just okay, that blows. Um, but the the other things is like like today, um, they actually started releasing the files from the Epstein trial. Is there anything new in there? I didn't see anything yet. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So they did. Okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> full names come out on like the 22nd because there was a, there was a person on there. There was a woman that, that managed to like, st- the release was supposed to be like today of all things. Uh huh. Right? Oh, I bet she was Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Which she had, okay. And again, this is, uh, this is, do we get a bingo card? <laughs> yeah. well, okay. So this person is known as, uh, uh, it is a female, but they're calling it, uh, John Doe 107. Okay. Well, yeah, they don't specify John and Jane Doe on those things. Right. Yeah. But they, it is a woman. Okay. Okay. And this person basically <laughs> said that if you release the name, I will be in physical danger. Oh. So, theoretically, right now, they, they it's that that is pushed off. The, the specific names are pushed off. Could be a victim, though. Could be. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. It yeah. could be, but um, we don't know. Yeah, we we don't do know. know um, we do know... The John Doe name of Bill Clinton. Yeah, that came out like two days ago, though. It, yeah, we I do. See that. Um, and what they released today was a lot of the. So people are combing through it right now. The oh, whole that thing. man. Yeah. Right. So I got up this morning halfway expecting Twitter to be a fire with it, but they didn't release it. Didn't come out to the yeah, afternoon. Okay. So Bill Clinton's name is all fucking I, over this. We we knew that was going to happen, man. So, yeah. So, we're, we're talking about, this is where, like, the testimonies and stuff come from. Yeah, in, no. Right? Bill Clinton's not going to be able to show his face in public for another fucking year. So, if ever. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah. And, and uh, like you talked about... I mean, I don't think he's going to be a Cosby, but... Well, okay. It, it this depends is, on what's actually in there, man. So This is really going to be a test of... of where does your ideology stand? Do, do you do you burn your own, okay, at the expense of your ideology, or do you say, well, he's on my team, so you know this is not uh, like bad. I know how this tends to go out, right? This is this yeah, is the he's shit, on like, my team, so like, like you and I talked about uh, earlier, right? Where you you get into politics, you you see this from a new angle that you hadn't before, and you presume <laughs> things are going to be different somehow this generation than they've always been. Then you live through it, and then it turns out the exact fucking same. Yeah. Right? So there is a, a piece of this that gets your heart going that says, okay, well, this will be different. Probably not. But my guts say yeah. more of the same. However, yeah. um, the question is, is like, who do they flush out who hasn't been shaken out of the bushes already? And so that's the thing, because nothing's going to really happen to Bill Gates or Bill Clinton. I mean, it might, if there's like some kind of testimony in there that actually provides direct corroborative evidence of the commission of a crime. That would have come out probably already on those two guys. Well, well, maybe we'll see. So, okay. Well, like yeah. say for example, like yesterday, mm-hmm. right? I don't remember his name. Republican uh, House of Representatives guy quit for what? Didn't say. Well, he might be on the list. That's what I'm saying. Just, you don't remember who? I it was? don't remember his no. name, but just quit. Didn't out. talk about I'm it. Fucking out. Junk. Gone. Yeah. Right. Exit stage left. There <laughs> will be. I'm telling you. It, it, so there's this big fight right now. Like like, uh, uh, Eric Rogers and Jimmy Kimmel are going after it right now because of this specific. I think there's thing. two people that I could probably care less about, but. But this is what I'm saying is there are people out there that yes, if your name comes like you you said like so um mm-hmm. like. Alan Dershowitz is on this thing. He's going to be on that thing a lot. A million times. In fact, I saw him saying, oh, yeah, we need to release all the shit so people can exonerate me. I was like, I don't think it's going to work the way that you think it is, Tony. So, you know. You had guys a while ago that said they would keep it shut, and now they're not. The one that's really, really interesting on there is Noam Chomsky. So you're you're basically the godfather of of the crazy left. Yeah. Um, and then is crickets when they talk about this it. is just like silence 
So, and he says, oh, he helped me do my will. I was like, really? <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's like that's my wife does that for a living and she doesn't run a private island full of like underage kids. It only takes an afternoon. <laughs> you know what? And <laughs> if you can follow instructions, legal zoom will take care of right, that. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I yeah, that one's a little but I mean there's another thing about him is he's like ninety seven years old and about to keel over at eight points. Exactly. Yeah. It's kinda like yeah. that, that that you know, like I, I mean, there's really gotta be like unanimous consent that he's bad, you know, like they did with that guy who was the bookkeeper at Auschwitz, you know, who was oh, like geez. 102 years old. He's going to prison for the next 50 years. He's like, good luck with that. So, yeah. but you know, hey, we got a Nazi, we got a real one on the hook. Maybe we can get another notch on our belt, man. So, no, so like, Noam Chomsky would be in a different situation if there was that much um, evidence against it. But you know, he he stands as a is a. A moral pillar for, you know, like USA bad. <laughs> he does. He does. You know, he'll yeah. be he'll be protected by his his goons. So. Uh, Prince Harry, of course. Yes, they released. Is Prince Harry on there? Because I yeah. thought he was mad because his his uncle seemingly got off the hook so fast. But if he's on the list, oh, they they, they released testimony where they talked about him. about Prince Harry. Yep. Okay. All yep. right. Yeah, there's another person I could care less about. So, Again, yeah. this is so this. Here's the thing, man. This is the the shit that. Okay, I don't remember who said this. I can't remember which celebrity said this. Um, but they were just basically talking about like, um, they were talking about like going to concerts, or they were talking about like what it, they're like, isn't being famous like super awesome? Right? It's no, like, yeah. you must crush puss all the time, right? And his response is like, there has never been a worse time to be a celebrity, right? Oh, yeah. He said, they're like, why? It's like, because everyone has a camera. He's like, there is... Everything you do. He's like, yeah. he, 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 the way he broke it down, it's like, Frank Sinatra would be in prison. Right? Oh, yeah. Elvis Presley would be in prison twice over. JFK would be in prison. Right, yeah. right. So, yeah. He, he, they're just they're saying, like, these are the things that people got away with back in the day. If you had a single camera, in these, like, uh, famously, the this was a Tarantino thing, right? Mm -hmm. Was when you go to his house, right? If there's a party going on, you check your cameras at the door. Your phone. Yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. You do not bring those things into his house because there is no, it's like nothing is meant to be shared. And like, do I know what's going on? I have no idea. Yeah. Um, But that being said, you know, it's just like that culture didn't exist back then so he's like no, no it sucks um because everybody's gonna like they can verify it's like you've seen here it's yeah but i mean even before like you know everybody had cameras you'd find particular celebrities who were absolutely hounded by the press who could probably be pretty prescient on you know where that like princess diana is a good example of that yeah you know it was like uh there's guys in the bushes all the shit right yeah yeah, yeah. right now yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know so yeah and so i mean it's not like Maybe it's a more widespread phenomenon. I don't know if it's necessarily different. Well, so. the thing is, that what's different there is, like, you mentioned, like, cameras in the bushes. But just understanding uh, that camera is ubiquitous. Oh, yeah, it's everywhere. Right? It doesn't have to be in the bushes anymore. It's right, just yeah. some schlub that's It's on like, a fucking drone 50 feet above your house. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 And if you leave your house, you have no expectation of privacy. No, you have no. That's the rule. Yeah. So, um, price of being famous, man. That's why you see more celebrities nowadays duck out of it. It's like I'm fucking done. So I would, and I don't. I'm, eh. I wouldn't be up to anything, you know. I got creepy, my money, but no. it's just like, oh no, most of them aren't. So I, 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 I well, clearly, I mean, that's the yeah. thing. That's what I'm saying here about this Epstein thing. It's like, yeah, clearly there are things going on, mm -hmm. right? That they've always said, oh, it never happened. Oh, there's never this. This, this is all a conspiracy theory. Oh, this is never, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, I still bullshit. think some of it is bullshit. The whole idea that the Mossad is involved, I think, has been proven as bullshit now, right. just based yeah. upon the fact okay. that they're fucking okay. idiots. And let this whole bullshit happen <laughs> across the street. So, <laughs> you know? And it's like, okay, so this is not the mastermind fucking chaos organization that we thought it was. Right. Out to right. get smart every at every turn, you know? <laughs> it's not happening, you know? So Right. Right. So, yeah. so that part's probably bullshit. Absolutely. Yeah. I still, I, I, I haven't seen compelling evidence that he was murdered. So I went back and forth on that one a little bit, uh, but 
It's just like you, you have to demonstrate to me at one point in time just stupid ass, dumb ass bureaucracy. Like, got, you know, that wasn't the actual thing that actually caused, you know, I mean, because they gave him an extra fucking blanket after he tried to kill himself. And it's like, that's because it was a different guy on a different shift and he didn't read the fucking notes. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. It's like, okay, fine. Um, so, yes, you're, you're, you're Selly and stuff like that, who's this weird, you know, kind of ex-cop thing. You know, okay, fine. It, like, please, someone go flush that entire thing out for us. Go, go tell us where that guy is, what he's doing, and stuff like that. Until then, okay, case is still open. But to, to you just, like, prima facie assume that there is some, like, huge structure here, and Bill Clinton had this guy murdered, or the Illuminati did, because it was going to get a lot worse. It was like, all right, that that's going to require a higher burden of proof than the one that you're meeting right now. So, um, Yeah, it's tough, man. It's, it's, it's tough for me to sit there, like, all right, so were the circumstances around his death suspicious? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. Do I, and like you're saying, do I have enough, uh, do I have enough evidence to to say like this was conclusively done no No. do i have any evidence to say who would be responsible were this the case no then that means for a cellmate maybe well acting upon whose behest right that's the he was alone when he was actually killed too that's what and and there is the the issue of like well why is the camera why are the cameras off yeah for just this period right so yeah there's enough there's enough for me to say it's suspicious but the problem is like without any kind of evidence as to um, who would be responsible for that sure. if there were a conspiracy, then I have to kind of, like, take it into right now, like, all right, pending investigation, right? Yeah, it is. I can't yeah. assume facts into evidence. But what I can say is that there are a lot of people involved, like, if you know the right people, you can go to this place there is shit going on that should not be going yeah. on on this. And y'all are keeping quiet about it, so because you're if, all implicit or complicit. Because yeah, yeah, if you didn't do it, I guarantee you, you know people who did. Well, um, yeah, and that's why they were pointing back to that lady who went after Taibi so bad, the delegate from uh, the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. who is actually like had been lobbied by Epstein a couple times to change the child, like statutory laws in 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 the Bahamas. Or something. Right, like, you like so specific. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. that is, yeah, that that is okay. So that 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 is a little bit more damning, um, and information that has been coming out lately that is oh, kind of widening the scope of what's actually going on. Absolutely, but it's not shining light on some you know fucking octopus brain out there just quite because I mean, Bill, Clinton, come on, Bill Clinton being an octopus brain, my fucking ass, dude. So I mean, Bubba, he's not he's not a dumbass, but he. <laughs> he's not stroking a white cat and straight and swirling around in his chair backwards you know so you know i mean come on bro bill clinton is a guy who is not a moron okay he's not a moron he's not a genius right he's a guy that from a very young age got by on charisma and good looks Yes, we've had several That's presidents. You did some recent ones goes, like that. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah, that is just how it goes. And they have a way of doing things, yeah. and they have a way of like making shit smooth out that you and I, if we were in the same position in a million years, You're would be like roasted. It would be like ew, ew, right? Yeah. <laughs> they so. wouldn't look at us the same way, right? Uh-huh. I get it. There are people in that in that class, right? Yeah. Now. <laughs> it's not me saying like, oh my god, I'm 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 so disenfranchised that I didn't have those advantages. No, that opens up a whole new ball of worms where it's on you yeah. to sort of reel in things and say like, wow, okay, man, I'm in this rough position because like I can do stuff. It's on me not to do stuff. Right. Right. And that's a. But I'm still gonna do some stuff. Yeah, that involves like cigar cases and whatnot. You yeah. know, I could give a fuck about that. And and the what the thing that gets me on that one is, <laughs> it's not him. It's his wife. Like and and to me, it's like, you show your colors at that point where it's like, well, if you are the feminist icon that you say. You throw his shit out on the front lawn and say... Bro, I think those two people were made for each other, man. I understand, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. Is, I, I think both... At that moment, I'm like, you are not... You, I think you, you take not. Bill Clinton... Like, if you take 
the essence of Bill Clinton and put it in like Hillary Clinton and swap on their souls, so to speak, they still operate the same way. Oh, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. So no, I mean, you're you're, you're right. just no. like, you know, it's like, all right, so what's going to keep me in office? And office has nothing to do with power. It's a popularity thing. And so more so than anything. I mean, you can look. There are plenty of people that use that specifically for power and abuse that. Power. These guys aren't Dick Cheney guys. So you know, I mean, you can say, oh, Whitewater and stuff like that. We need money and stuff, but it's not about the money at a certain point in time. This it's is, about personality. It's absolutely yeah. about personality. It's about this is my persona. This is who I am. I'm a president. I'm the wife of the president. I'm yes. a senator. I'm the secretary of state. I'm the president elect. You know, kind of thing. And it's 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 just completely about ego. You know, and yeah. certain those things. And you get very fragile when you get that high because you get knocked down. You're never going to make back up that high again. Yes. So, you know, uh, and they all know that. So, But you're right. If I were to, <laughs> if I were to like, withdraw their cells and then put them into each other, like you're saying, neither one of their bodies would be like, oh, this is cancer. <laughs> yeah, they right? would not try to expel it. <laughs> you wouldn't get white blood yeah. cells coming out there like, get it out. Get it out. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 it yeah, infiltrates yeah. super easily. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's the thing. Is yeah, you were in that position where again, I'm not saying it makes it right, but I do understand that difficult. It's the same thing where people are like, well, oh, I can't believe that you know Justin Bieber like rented a Lamborghini and went speeding in Miami. It's like, how could you not believe that, right? Yeah, he's they, a dumb kid. He right. got two Brinks trunks of money <laughs> showing up on his fucking right, yeah. driveway. Yeah. You know, at the tender age of like seventeen, right? And like. I can sit there and look at, you know, the things of my means that I, like, wasted money on. Oh, me too, yeah. yeah. Dumbass shit. Like, because for me, it's just a question of, like, oh, man, paintball guns, right? It's it's a... Yeah, it's exactly. A, it's like, ooh, stereo equipment. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, like, I have sympathy for that. And I understand, that, like, the temptation to, like, overindulge in this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But you're on a public stage with way more resources. But there is a piece you where are. you're like, well, yes, now you're in the big leagues. Yeah. So, do you get on this airplane? Do you say like, well, what what percentage of people out there in this world have access to you know children um, at all times? It's very few. That's something that, that on a private I island where there's no cameras. Yeah, that's absolutely. That yeah. Only I can have. Well, and that's why that's that's that's, that's why the conspiracy is pretty. It's pretty alluring because it just makes fundamental sense. You know, on a certain level, but then there's no, there's no, there's nothing on the backside to back that up, where it's like, okay, so Jeffrey Epstein asked to like annex, you know, I mean, he wasn't pushing around pieces on the on the international board, which is what you, no, think, no, which no, is what right. you think you do with that kind of leverage, no, but no, I mean, in his case, it was just more so like, well, this is how I stay safe too. So, yeah. you know, it's much more yeah. base kind of motivation. And so that's what I think is actually going to shake out is like, I mean, we're going to find that there's probably a few more people on. The list, or there's some more lurid details in some of the depositions than we've known about before. Yeah, and things like that. But I don't think we're going to under undercover some major cabal that's trafficking children over the face of the fucking planet, and you know, sacrificing their blood so that you know individuals can live longer lives. No, no, we're no, not no, going to find that. Man. No, no, yeah, no. there's no statue so. of Moloch on. <laughs> on... <laughs> On Epstein Island, um, <laughs> rape island. <laughs> no, and and. and uh, <laughs> Oh, well, okay. And, yeah, I with you. <laughs> <laughs> so the other, this is the uh, uh, this is the piece of it. It's like you get this uh, again. You talked about like the uh, white cat petting the the incarnation of evil. Mm -hmm. Here's this. So when you look at the flight logs and then you look at the the uh, with what was released today, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's like a thousand documents, isn't it? Tons. Oh yeah, Tons. That's why people it's, are it's gonna just generate right? news for a couple of days, um, man. That would be great. <laughs> I, I'm I'm happy to let people filter it. For yeah, 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 the, yeah. The greatest hits will come out. But yeah, the, exactly. The, yeah. the the thing is, like, when you see the villains, you always think of them as being above the product or the service they're offering. But what I'm finding here oh, is yeah. like. So what gets Jeffrey Epstein to set up this particular Disneyland? Well, it is because he was... He likes the rides? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was very interested in his own product. Right, yeah. And that's what's coming out here is like, all right, so if I love this, I'm going to set this up so I can have all this that I can in the world. However, right, there's something to, to... I don't know how he got it in his head. I don't know if this is an idea that he came across. 
where somebody said like, "Oh, dude, you can fix a sink." He's like, "Yeah." It's like you could charge for that. Right. Yeah. Right. I know a guy who needs a sink <laughs> fixed. Yeah. <laughs> so you want me to give him your number? Yeah. 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 You know what? Go ahead, man. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm He's gonna, a president. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even better. Yeah. <laughs> You tell him to call me right away. Like, you know? We have to do this. Like, we'll consider this like side work until I actually fill out like the the W four set up. Right, my right. Yeah, it's just easier like, for me to do it through my LLC. Right, just send me right. cash. Yeah. So, so it seems like he was way interested in the product, and so he set up this thing, and and like, all right, because there's so many like the the logs and everything that the ones that don't have the names. It's like. Epstein plus two females. Yeah. Epstein plus female. You know, so and so. Um Dershowitz plus, you know, it's like, okay, got it, right? You're <laughs> into this. You're getting high off the product. Okay, got it. Right? But you're also making a shit ton of money. And I don't think there was anything other than like, so what do you want? It's like, well, children and to do stuff with them illegally. Right. And money. And I think that's where his like, yeah. again, that's not where the, the other thing where it's like, all right, so it's this, then this, then I point the satellite toward Earth. <laughs> <laughs> and the internet is mine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> So I will have all the bananas. You know? <laughs> right, yeah. It's, it's not, this doesn't end with him fucking lasering Mexico City as right, a yeah, warning. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. you know, it's it's nothing like that. It's just like this is and again, you have people that are fucking if it's rare or weird, people are into it, especially when you come from a fucking subculture right. of goddamn deviants running the show. I read one of the one of the saddest right. things that I came across the other day was they put together the the piece. There was this uh, uh, couple of posts and stuff where they were talking about the uh, youngest brother on Malcolm in the Middle, right? And how this kid got was based. it Dewey? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Seen him in anything? No, because he got passed around at parties. Right? Oh, I didn't know that. Right. He's basically he's like flat broke and fucking like his parents stole. Whatever money he had, he, oh, and he yeah. got basically prostrated at parties, <laughs> right? Hollywood parties, huh? Absolutely. It's it's so yeah. People are into that shit, right? Yeah. And guess what? When you do that shit to other people, it fucks them up. Oh, badly. Yeah. Well, Macaulay Culkin and all the, the what was that Michael Jackson shit and stuff. Macaulay Culkin is relatively healthy right now. I, it took him a while. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, saw a podcast with him not too long ago. He was actually looking pretty good. Well, like so. you can look at him and see, like, um, oh, compare him to Eddie Furlong. Yeah, so he, you know, evidently shit like that happened to him too. Oh no, totally did, and he became a huge hero. And in fact, I think he's dead. No, so. he's still alive. Oh, okay. he is just in incredibly bad shape. Okay, yeah, um, so much so that that yeah, in the uh, I don't want to go. There. I, yeah, I don't want to go there either. Man. But I mean, this is so. I'm... I, Again, there's that that shit where they're like, uh, "This is all like conspiracy. This is all like right about Pizzagate, whatever." It's like, man, fuck off with this shit. Like, even if this didn't, like, this is all over the place. So don't pretend. Don't yeah, and don't. It, these are the same yeah. goddamn people where this is that you talk about. Like, what's going to get me to see red? Right. Mm -hmm. This culture that has this bullshit uh -huh. right under its hood. Uh -huh. You're either doing it or you know someone that does. And you're going to take the stage of the Golden Globes. And you're going to sit there oh, and yeah, talk no, to me they, about they, the hypocrisy is my car yeah. and how much energy I'm wasting right. and eat the goddamn earthworms. In my single family home. Yeah. And the fact that I don't take the train. <laughs> Why don't you support rent control? <laughs> how dare you? Yeah, how I mean, dare you? What are you doing? What are you? What the fuck are you I guess doing? I, yeah, see, and I've, got, so I've got a point in time where I just learned to ignore some of those people. So, you know, I don't know, though, man. I push back on some of the other stuff, too, because you see it from both sides on this one. You know, like the Pizzagate thing is a good example. It's like, guys, you're blowing this so far out of proportion. You're not actually looking at what's important here, man. So, you know, um, God, it doesn't have to be. Not every villain is a Bond villain. You know, out there. No. You know? So, and if you try and make it into that every single time, that's where you lose me on certain things. It's like... Actually, you know what? It's much more important that we police our own side. So on this I agree. And yeah, and when you're not doing that, um, you know, which is speaking to what you're saying about eating the earthworms and things, 
you know, and it's like, but uh, what were you guys doing at the after party? It's like, and why are you upset that nobody takes you seriously and nobody's going to go see your new Daisy Ridley movie, huh? Yeah. It's an interesting question. It's not yeah. an interesting question, Jeff. It's got a very simple answer. It does, it, go doesn't. fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You know, <laughs> you can get as mad as you want next October or next November, but um, you got nobody to blame but yourself. So no one never did. Blame. Yeah, I was seeing the other day, man. I was actually doing some calculus on the on the the Senate. Oh, and that guy, and I like him, John Tester up in in Montana. He is in trouble. What did he do? He, nothing. He's a straight up dude. He's just a he's just a blue guy in Montana. So and he's been there for twenty years. Um. Well, I mean, if he's if he's repping Bozeman, I mean that's that's where. I, I don't. Well, it's the Senate. So oh, it's well, the it whole the fucking state. state. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, but you know, it's just it, it's people are tired of that. It's like, well, okay, you know, you guys aren't doing any policing on your own size. This whole thing with the guy in New Jersey, Mendez, oh, is getting uglier by the fucking day, man. <laughs> so, and that's where, like, okay, and I like John Fetterman more with every tweet that I see out of him these days. So, because. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like his brain has been healing, and as it's been healing, he's like, "Wait a minute, there was a lot of bad ideas up in here. Let's get rid of those." Dude. It's, it's weird. Yeah, it's 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 like he went under during surgery, <laughs> yeah, and he was visited by three ghosts. And... <laughs> ghosts have said it past, present, and future. Yeah, so or woke up into a, a timeline that wasn't his right right yeah. Mark, exactly it's like wait a minute i get, I, I i i dropped an auto save here right we <laughs> <laughs> yeah man because you're right there's there's so there's at least to me like when it comes down to like policing this shit right yeah. there's one of two things that works is either the drag them out in cuffs right yeah um, which is fine. That can be effective, right? That's something that, like, all right, if you if you actually enforce judiciously and you don't have a fucking third rail useless uh, media that's just you know, like, mm, it's only a big deal when this guy does it, um, then that works. CNN's been turning around on that a little bit lately. They have to. Yeah, they do. They have I to. I think they finally hit the wall on that. Yeah. Um, the, the, the other... They went after that main lady the other day. Which was, yeah. it was kind of nice to see. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I think they actually had the guts to go after the fucking mayor of Boston too. But oh, I don't know anything about that. Fuck her. Oh uh, no, no, she's she's the worst. She's a fucking Asian lady um, that has this Christmas party. Sends out. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. just sends it to everyone but coloreds only. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah, no white people allowed at Christmas, huh? Yeah, that'll get him to vote for your Actually, what I can tell you here is, like, in the workplace, okay, you know this about HR, right? You can't do that. You can't have an event like this and just say, like, okay. You could probably get away with it in certain places. Um, it would start a resistance that would eventually, uh, it, 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 it'll come back to you, so... I know places um, that would fire you on the spot for that. Most any place worth it worth its salt would. So yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, if you didn't, if you get severely disciplined for something like that, uh, you, that would say a lot more about your organization than it would you. This so, is essentially yeah. the highest level of city government. So I you know, obviously, yeah. yeah. Um, but <laughs> you, you, so the the other way to police this is basically like hockey, where it's like. All right, so you get Matt Gates to get put in the penalty box. <laughs> it's not about the box, dude. It's not about the box. It's about dropping the gloves. Okay, but, yeah. All right. So if somebody sees you, it's like <laughs> you hit our star back there. Right, right, right. The next time you turn around, yeah, I'm putting you into a fucking wall. Well, yeah, you're right? gonna catch this next pitch right in your left ear. Yeah, <laughs> that's why they have a person right, right, on the right. team that's usually known as the enforcer. The guy. Yeah, the right? enforcer. And. If you have some in league, you know, penalizing, so it's like, yeah, you did this, mm -hmm. okay? We're gonna keep it quiet. Yeah. But you're gone. Yeah. You're gone in two years. You're gone. Yeah. Right? And if you fucking, you know, blow a gasket about it, mm -hmm. okay, we're gonna we're gonna air out everything on you. Yeah. Right. And that's where you actually maintain some sense of like intradisciplinary like justice. Okay, got it. If you're doing that because the regular system is lopsided about the way it enforces justice, mm -hmm. fine, right? Would I much prefer it where, oh shit, this guy did this. 
drag him across the fucking you know yard in irons right okay got it got it yeah. but we don't do that um unless it's decorative unless it's like hey we can get president trump to appear in court right that's the well i don't know i mean there's been some guys over the years who've been thoroughly busted so you know um, the thing is that usually that's on the local level, so you don't hear about it unless it's really fucking bad. Um, yeah. You know, but even, like, a lot of times it happens behind closed party doors, too, where someone, it's like, this has happened in many presidential primaries where it's like, oh, wait, we found out about this. So, shunk, there goes all your funding. You're fucking dead on the vine, you know, kind of thing. That well, happens. Funding, right? But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, it's, sometimes it's not necessarily a crime, but they do. So, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm uh, talking about criminal, but but yeah, yeah, but I, I I don't know how much criminal activity really takes place. So I mean, they they have been banging on Donald Trump for what six years now to try and find criminal activity. There's very little. I mean, there's some here and there, but it's 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 like parking violations and shit. In comparison, the the, the thing yeah. the thing where they're saying that he overvalued Mar-a-Lago is so absurd. Well, financiers do that all the time. Yeah, so, that's that they that, had a an that's expert, part about being yeah. a good underwriter. No, and, and that's why like every legal analysis that I saw on that was like, this is bullshit. So it's clearly designed. It's going to totally backfire. So, because it was clearly designed to actually tie him up during the campaign season. This is why you don't see him on mainstream media too much. Um, even Fox, which is odd, but... Well, they're is. kind of loggerheads. They don't... There, There's a... There's a... There, okay, so Trump is in good, not with Fox News, but with... With their viewership, yeah. With, no, but with Tucker Carlson. Yeah, but Tucker... God dang, man, I think that dude nerfed himself. I really do. So... Well... He, he he picked his audience. The thing is, he's not going to be able to grow that audience that much, man. Well, he didn't need to grow it because it was huge. But exactly the, the, the yeah. thing here is is Tucker Carlson. Look, he's not an artistic genius. Mm -mm. Okay, he's somebody that benefits greatly from the uh, from the presence of tar wranglers, and he does. He does. He does. Yeah, he he does. does. There are plenty. Like again, this this goes back to the Elvis thing. Like of five hundred and forty-seven songs, yeah. right? How many did he write? None. None. Yeah. He was a performer. He was a performer. Right? Yeah. If he actually wrote songs, they would be about dating 14-year-olds. <laughs> right? This is... <laughs> <The> Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the, your second album is titled, What Did I Do Wrong? You know, and, and that... Yeah, that... you're right. Yeah. yeah. Tucker's not getting the guys in front of him that he needs to. So, yeah. That's that's a great way to put that. So, because I mean, at least if you're going on Fox News, you can go up against Tucker. Uh huh. So, but you can't do that anymore. So, because it, yeah, and I mean, like the slew of people that I've seen on a show lately. I mean, like these really, really kind of like out there podcaster guys. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, from the darkest recesses of Gun Tube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The spiders are like a foot. <laughs> yeah, they're a foot <laughs> Things on a spider's on a fucking pancake. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> like dinosaurs are still alive. Right? Yeah, exactly. So it's, 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 it's like, okay, this is not this is not good. This is not entertaining, man. And it's not it's it's not you're not making a case to somebody who hasn't heard your case before. Exactly. So, yeah. You know, it's just that audience capture thing is really fucking real, man. So in, Especially in, now? In today's media, and I've just sort of noticed that. I've seen a couple platforms try and stand up and try and be like, okay, we're fair and balanced. You know, way before. I mean, Fox tried it way before, but everybody got wise to them right around Mitt Romney days. Yeah. So, <laughs> and after that, um, actually, it was probably Glenn Beck who did that once. It was around that time. It was, yeah. it was definitely in the... Uh, uh, in the days when O'Reilly reigned supreme. Oh, Papa Bear Bill O'Reilly? Yeah. I kind of miss him now, man. In comparison, yeah. In comparison, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, I do kind of miss him. I don't miss Keith, Ol Keith Olbermann. He's still fucking out there. So. No, he's he's gotten even. He's he's far worse than he's He is there. way far he's, worse, he's, yeah. He's worse, and he's jealous. God, he's just, just... Oh, man, he's just an envious, angry man. Absolutely. No, yeah. But, um, like, I've seen a couple of people try and do this, and then... You know, eventually you do get an audience, especially on YouTube, because you don't grow unless people like... So that's the trick behind subscriptions, is because it drives views, and views drives engagement. 
Yeah. And engagement <clears throat> drives exposure, so it's kind of like a three part chain. And that, you, that that drives people to your Substack or your Patreon. Well, that's the common business model. I didn't realize how much Patreon rips for people off. So it's a sham. It but... is a sham. Yeah, it is. It's an absolute sham. So, but um, the uh, but then after a little while, you just have to read through the comments on these guys. The same fucking guys. So you know they're making the same points, shining down the same counterpoints. Yeah, and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And um, so like the three podcasts or the four that I've watched that try and do this stuff, they all fall apart. So after a while, one guy quits. Okay, or they have to swap somebody out, um, you know, and so now you don't, you're not getting, you know, they got good chemistry or bad chemistry, but it doesn't matter because, you know, even if we fight on like Israel Palestine, we agree like unions are good, you know, kind of yeah, thing. And yeah. so it's like, all right, yeah. so there's enough agreement uh, amongst you two guys to actually attract that chunk of your audience. So that really does think that, you know, fucking half of America is subsisting off minimum wage. Or, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. So I had to go look that up because I, I almost got engaged in a Twitter fight the other day. I have, I still have my thing on private. So oh, I just okay. lurk. So, but there are times where, like, it's like, you're so fucking wrong about this, man. Like, no. It, but then it's like, you know, I, I don't need to be pedantic, you know, and I don't want to come in here and, like, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> so no, Patrick. I know what you with my two subscribers. <laughs> I know what you want to do. Okay, I know. I know for you, right? When it comes down to this stuff, you're not frontline infantry. I'm okay? not. I'm artillery, man. <laughs> no, you're a sniper in the week. Right. Exactly. You I got to be here, though. Right. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be. Seen. You don't even want your presence to be known. Right. Right. It's just like you're the mysterious stranger in Fallout who comes out. You know. Uh, appears sometime to fight, blow somebody's head to smithereens, and he's gone. And gone, right? Yeah. Because like when somebody comes in here and actually like and and they they drop some like well actually bullshit on the Civil War, you on the other <laughs> hand have had them dialed in. They didn't know you were watching. Right. Head explodes. Right. Don't know why. Right. You come in there and straighten out some shit, and you're gone again. You're not right. out there saying like uh, you just in the wind. <laughs> you're not wearing a cape. You're not right. coming there like uh, hey guys. Um, so I just said my piece. I set this guy straight. Like, subscribe. Go ahead and you right, know, yeah. put some money in my pockets. Okay, I'll see you next time. Right? right? No, you're like I, I depend on your support. Right? You're like I don't want them to know where the bullet came from. No, but it has to come. It has to come. Yeah, yeah. it so, is. It is for the greater good. <laughs> it takes determination, Patrick, for you not to engage. It, it does. When you have the knowledge, <laughs> to go there and say, like, especially when people, man, there is. There is no greater folly than people that talk about the educational system oh, on Twitter. Oh, God dang. People. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I've seen that, man. And I, I mean, that's just one of those things I know about. Of, I'm like, there's not enough tickets in this battlefield for me to punish, man. So, you know. And I don't want to jump in there and say, like, well, as a former educator, right, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Former blah, teacher blah. here. You know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that so much. Yes. I, I I cannot stand that. Yeah, statistician here. So it's like, well, fucking move on. So yeah, who invited you to this little party? So yeah, no, I've seen so much bullshit, so much erroneous bullshit on the U.S. education system. It's the worst. It is man. the worst, yeah. man. And I mean, but I knew that when I was in an education program, man. So there is like there are very few things in this world, you know, especially in the United States, that people get more passionate about it about education. It's about the kids, Jeff. Don't you remember? It's about the kids. Everything we do is for the children. You didn't have a chance when you were a little boy, did you? Because that math teacher told you you were dumb. You know? So I don't ever want out to say that to any of my students, even if they're dumb. So you know, and I totally get it, man. And I mean, I I've, I've been educating so long now that. It's just, it's, it's like, I hear people talk about that. I'm like, you'll come around. <laughs> you <know? laughs> it's just like, I've been in this man's army long enough now. An army don't change, man. You change. <laughs> Either you're going to change or you're going to quit. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 Pretty so much. Like, yeah, there's a lot of bullshit, bad, you know, 30 year tenure teachers out there. We've all run into them. Okay. But for every one of those, you got five that are just old hands at what they do. They're very fucking good at it. They don't make a stink about it. They take care of their kids. If you ask them, you know, straightforward questions, you get straightforward answers out of them. 
they're worth ten times much more than they're, what they're paid. I get that. You're absolutely right. And you, you know, know I, I, just just let, let the professionals do it because they do a pretty fucking good job of it in this country. And just because your kid got yelled at by Miss Nosy Buddy who just came out of a TLP program or whatever, um, you know, it doesn't mean the whole system needs to be burnt to the ground. Chill the fuck out. Your kid will be fine. No, it's it's you're absolutely right. And 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 this is okay. Like. Two things on this. Number one, you you talked about when it comes to the best teachers. You were right about this a long time ago, where it's like, it's not about them necessarily making changes to make their students' lives better. It's about making their own lives better. Yeah, absolutely. Right? If you're based as a teacher, you're a much better educator. Much better. Yes. You know, and there's this thing where, at least in the first few years, like, that was, like, I, I saw this. It happened to me. It happened to everybody in the oh. business, where it's like, you spend the first few years thinking that, I'm not sacrificing enough. Yep, exactly. Right? Yeah. And all that happens is you end up becoming a worse person yeah. because it is totally fucking up your headspace. Yes, it, because, I mean, you cannot, I mean, you can love them all to death, but you cannot save all of them. So, you know. And, and, nor is it really your job. To. Nor is it really your job to. You need to draw boundaries around yourself before you can actually be an effective educator. If you're the person who's, like, in your students' lives so much that, you know... Um, I mean, like, I know I work with people like this. I, I mean, I work with some really good educators and I work with some of those people who are, who are cashed out. So I, I, I can see the full spectrum, but sure. then there are a couple of <clears throat> people and I see them come in, they get burned out real fast and then they jet. Okay. And, and, and then they leave a hole because they raise an expectation of all my teachers are going to treat me as well as Miss X did. Okay. And say, so, well, Miss X was an emotional train wreck. She had no life. Okay, because all she was concerned about was her students. She went broke in the process. Okay, and so that's why there's no more Miss X around here. Okay, because she's got to do something else because this is obviously not a good fit for her. Um, but she was the best. I was like, I get that. Okay, and I'm glad you got to enjoy your year with her. Okay, but understand that is not normal. Okay, so that's a one-off, and I hope you learned something from it because it's not going to happen like that again for you, probably. <laughs> you know, so it's just like you go to a diner and like one day you get an absolutely amazing plate of eggs and hash browns and everything's perfect. Okay, and maybe the grill was just the right temperature that day. You know, maybe the cook was in a good mood. Maybe the delivery was fresh off the truck. You never know. Okay, but you got a really good fucking plate of eggs and bacon that day. Enjoy it, okay? You show up tomorrow, and it's not the same way. You're like, what the fuck, blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, you've just, you just, you know, you weren't here two days in a yep. row, so fuck <clears> off. <throat> you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And that's every parent ever. So you have a kid who goes through the system, and so, you know, you don't get a really, unless you have like three or four kids, you don't really get a good perspective on what works and what doesn't work in education. And so... <laughs> And I hate that. <laughs> so, you're absolutely right. And some I mean, of those people get on the fucking school board, too. Because <laughs> their dad owns a dealership. <laughs> it's in your mouth to God's ears, man. <clears throat> I mean, and and look, I don't... Obviously, I'm not going to fault people for, you know, wanting to be involved in the system. Sure. That's stupid. Of course you should be. Yeah. Um, if you can. If you if want you to. If you can afford it, do it. If it's something that you want to do because you're like, yeah. all right, I find meaning in this. Yeah. Right? Okay, great. Um, if this is just your, if this is your version of basically a power trip, all right, fuck you and the horse you rode in. It's school board. Okay. Oh yeah. Nobody, nobody's going to name a park after you. Nobody's, nope. I, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. you're not inventing a flying car. Nope. You are on a school board for one district, especially mm -hmm. in this in this city, where it's like, oh. oh, you're on the school board for what? What, what of our 100 yeah, exactly. districts? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are you what on? of our 500 school board positions do you exactly occupy? Which one? Oh, yeah. okay. oh okay. Got it. Yeah. Got All it. Right. So, right. Yeah. Well, line starts at the end of the block. So, yeah, like I mean, everybody else. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It's not like you're doing this for like New York, where it's like, okay, well, you're kissed in. So um, right. <laughs> now you have like vendors coming to you and saying right. like, like, Oh, well. You're a made man, you know? <laughs> yeah. and you never you can't kill. touch a made man. You never yeah. kill another yeah. made man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's when you walk in a room. There's nobody else there. Ah, oh, fuck, you know? bro. Okay, that was bang. <laughs> you know? That was the other stupid rabbit hole I got hooked into. Was guys talking about their life in prison? Guys, oh man, I've got. I know you've gone down that road before. You probably saw all the same shit I did. I don't know. There's a particular channel that I watch, and the guy. So he's kind of. 20 things you would never do in <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. this guy, his name is Big Herc. He's this enormous black dude. 
he's somewhere in LA or somewhere in California. And he was in federal prison for a long time. And he gets the best videos up because he does not only like, okay, this is my experience, but then he'll interview guys who are coming out. Oh, uh, okay. But he's kind of gotten off that, I'd say, the last six months or so. And he starts talking about, like, political shit. And it's like, stop that, man. You know? So, you know, the other content was really good. But that's the problem with YouTube is your audience changes. And so you got to change with it if that's your moneymaker. So, or you stay exactly the same and realize that your then you got a support will start here and only shrink over time. No, then you, that's when you get the guys who constantly try and you know create evergreen content. So oh okay okay I got yeah I got yeah you, yeah I got yeah, you. yeah so or, or content that involves an evergreen element something that will exactly yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, that's the one thing I've noticed even with my dinky YouTube channel. Your audience does change over time because people just get tired of you. And they're th that's fine. I mean, you know, that's the problem with YouTube. So if I got four years of content up there, there's probably like two, three hundred hours of shit up there. You know, after a hundred of that, they should be bored of me. So, you know. Have, just, I'm going to ask you, right? Just close it. This is, this is like the, the, the choosing a pie test, mm -hmm. right? Um, just close your eyes and say the first thing that comes to mind, mm -hmm. right? What's your favorite show of all time? My favorite what? What's your favorite television show of all time? Of all time? Uh, close your eyes and say the first one. Probably Night Court. Yeah. Okay. I can't watch that. Like I was going to say, how much Night Court? <laughs> I haven't your watched it favorite in years. Charles? <laughs> it's, is that really my favorite show? I, it was either that one. There's uh, There's a reason it came to your lips. I just remember it fondly as, as when I was younger. I really liked that one, and there was like kind of a goofiness that didn't ha didn't occur on any other shows that were on at that time. Well, um, okay, so I loved Harry Anderson. I thought he was probably one of the best people to actually grace television at that era, and I respected him as a magician. That too. Yeah, um, I don't know. That one just came to mind because I did watch one of the new ones. It's awful. So. It is awful. Oh, I, I, you know, you're right. I forgot it, it came back. Don't, don't bother. It's, it's okay. terrible. John Larroquette is insufferable. So, no. Well, he worked on that show with that cat. So, all right. Yeah, anyway. So, I'm going to speak up for Night Court for just a second because I okay. can. I I may be the only other person who watched as much of it as you. Okay. Um, And remembers it fondly. Okay, so I'm going to say some things about, about Night Court. Number one, the actual gimmick of the show mm -hmm. provided comedy right right and, and i'm saying like like you can sit there and say like so what's the premise of the show and it's like all right well it's these guys and they hang out in this dude's garage mm -hmm. right sometimes the premise itself will lead itself to creating humorous situations mm -hmm. and the actual interludes with the cases or the people on the show were funny oh well, they were yeah. right so it had that going for it that gimmick was evergreen okay it had well, the cases were too. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Exactly. You're right. right. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, because there's always a new drunk or a new bomber. Absolutely. Yeah. And they had a couple. A of... new peeping tom. Something. Yeah. And they had a couple of recurring characters yeah. that would pop. It's like you again. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you were always looking forward to yeah. it. Right. Well, so okay, so you had that. Okay. You had on a show, probably the best replacement characters as people went out. Oh yeah. Short of Cheers. And that's saying, mm, yeah, a, that's saying it a may have even be better. Because when you sit there and say, like, wait, you watch an, uh, a later episode, then you watch a, an old one, you're like, where's Bull? Right, yeah, exactly. Where's yeah, Ross? Where's, where's Ross? Ross yeah. was awesome. Who's this old lady? Yeah, Exactly, right? And then you watch... <laughs> Who eats cigarettes? <laughs> yeah. fuck, and again, she's awesome in her own right. But yeah. the, the, you, you, the, the, the replacement on there ends up being great, okay? Yeah. Like, and... Uh, like and that's the thing. The show is it's it's unassuming, right? It's not. It doesn't have like a political bent. It's not a mm -mm. fucking Murphy Brown. It's not. It was not Murphy. Gonna, it was nothing like that. It, yeah. There's there's no version of this where they're gonna hit you with um, any kind of like. Guys, we really need to stop and think about. Oh. What it never happened. You can't like, do that. You you can't even do that. You know, like you can't do a show without that today. So it's awful. So and. Also, in that show, maybe it was because I was, like, in that de developmental area at the time. So I was just like, wow, Marky Post is hot. And she gets she hotter hot, as, yeah. as time goes on. 
right? So you have all these things working for it, but even then, I would be like, I don't want to watch this all the time. Right. Then take the same thing and say, like, well, this is my Minecraft channel. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many tens of millions and billions of hours of Minecraft out there that <laughs> it's it's almost like it's it's kind of like quaint. It's like you know if you've got a, a, a Minecraft channel, it's like oh your friends will watch it. Kind of like having a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was the title a little bit ago where it was like we're still nobody? <laughs> yeah, still nobody's cool for one hundred percent goal freak nobody podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we can say here is we absolutely did not sell. We we we, we never tried to market. Mm -hmm. We never tried to promote. Um, except mm -hmm. for one time where I I, I paid for uh, phony views. Um, <laughs> you probably shouldn't admit that, but fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. It was like ten bucks. So like, whatever, right? So um, you know that that's that's the entirety of it. So this is all like uncut. Uh, which I do respect. It is. It's 100% uncut. I mean, well, I did chop off a chunk of one a couple times here and there. So, but yeah, no, it's pretty straightforward, man. It's just here for people who stumble into it someday. So. I watch, okay, speaking of Minecraft, and maybe we can close on this, mm -hmm. right? This is this is just the, the, the state of YouTube, right? So I watched this, this guy. He did a video essay about the analysis of Minecraft, right? And okay. what... People don't recognize now is Minecraft is an institution. It's not a game. No. Right? Yeah. And the guy was talking about how the progression systems now and the changes to the game over time um, are really, they're like an insult to the original like thesis of the game. Right? Okay. This is like a 24-minute a, a video. Right? Now I'm watching this, and he's making some salient points. If you want to see them that way, you know, he's like, "Well, there was a, a a uniformity to it. It was more colorful. It was this. There are things in here like the creepers came in by accident." I'm like, "Yeah, this is all true." And you know, he's he's talking about the new developments and what they are. And then I was like, "He's like, and this is what's going to. This is what's causing." Uh, he's saying like, "This is what's causing like a a, a slowdown." in the in the base so then i looked it up and i was like well so how's old minecraft doing oh, that's do you want to guess uh, like current concurrent users uh sales oh still in sales how many set copies of minecraft have been sold if there's any video game that would push a billion it'd be that one it's not a billion because yeah, nothing okay. is yeah pushing i didn't a think so yeah nothing is pushing a billion okay however it is at 300 million, essentially yeah. getting close to the entire United, population yeah. of the United States, right? Now, here's the thing is that is 100 million more than the next closest game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which I didn't even know what the next closest game would be. Think about it. Compared to Minecraft? It has a long tenure... Tetris? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Tetris. Yeah. Now, if you count all versions of Tetris, yeah. okay, Tetris is at like 500 million. Okay. Right? But that's not yeah, one not, game. Yeah, it's not right? the same. Yeah. Um, and then somewhere down there, like number three is GTA five, right? At yeah. like uh 150 million. If which that, is yeah, crazy. That is pretty nuts. Though. If you think about it, right? Yeah. But uh and you say like well, this guy's over there like, like, oh, well, the the Minecraft's falling apart. I'm like, it's not. No, it's not. It's fine. No. Yeah. What, what's happened here is there's a version you liked. Yeah. And <laughs> a version I liked. Right. <laughs> and it's gone on so long. Yeah. That unfortunately it's walked me out the door. And it's walked you out the door. Oh, yeah. It's not how you want it. No. Or this guy wants it. No, no, no. I, people are yeah. still buying it. And buying oh, yeah. It. Yeah, no, fucking no. crazy. And they've never done a Minecraft too. <laughs> No, and they probably don't need to. I don't know. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. No, it's nuts. And I still hear that the guy who made it, Notch, is like one of the most depressed people on the face of the planet. That's weird. So. Yeah, he is. Yeah. 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 Okay. He absolutely is. I saw something on that a while ago. His like complete recluse plays Minecraft in his basement. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, and look. Are you gonna ask me? So in hindsight, if. 
And Microsoft came to me and offered me that deal, which was like $2 billion. It was. It was a right. lot of money. And, and it was him and like eight other guys. So, yeah. Well, yeah. But it was mostly him. Yeah. It was mostly him. He's yeah. the one that did all the work on it. Mm -hmm. And actually, it turns out that there's a program that was a lot like it that he sort of like latched onto. And, mm -hmm. and um, but that's neither here nor there. If they came to me and they said, we're going to put $2 billion in your pocket for mm -hmm. this, you think I would have said no? Oh, no. I would have totally said, yeah, yeah, yes, please, yes. Yeah. yeah. I would have made some dumbass stipulation where I'm like, um, can I still be part of or um, like, can, can you keep me on the board of this or right, something yeah. where I still have some kind of creative say? And then six out of seven people in the room say, like, we appreciate your input, but, you know, we're, we're really like going in this direction. Yeah, That's we got a new market, we always, you know. The kids in Japan don't like this feature. <laughs> you know? Love what you have to say. Your thanks for keeping that alive, but you know we just we gotta right. like the Vietnamese market is bigger than it's. Can, we, can we put this to a vote? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so moved. Seconded. Right. Yeah. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. All opposed? Yay. <laughs> motion to adjourn. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There all right. All right. All right. Okay. There you motion go. carries. Yeah. Hitting the button. Okay. okay.